string players. It's good to see you. I'm Stephanie, and I wish that you were for real here in my house um, or that we were for real in the classroom, but that's not, not what we're doing today. I am excited to work with you. This is String Time with Stephanie. And earlier this week, I was playing a concert for my neighbors outside. They enjoyed it, and I know that they would probably like to hear you. It might not be possible. You might be in an apartment, or maybe your neighbor has a baby, or um, you're just not able to play right now, but I sure hope you're practicing. And maybe you could play a concert for your family over the phone, or FaceTime, or something like that. I'm sure they would love to hear you play. Music is always a really healing thing right now, and I hope that you are practicing. All right, we're going to talk about today and what we're going to do. We're going to learn um, twinkle rhythm variations, and that is going to include talking about bow distribution. So like how much of the bow are we going to use and where in the bow are we going to be trying to play? And then we're going to be talking about um, different rhythms that we use to make different sounds. So that is the plan. I'm really excited to get started. So instrument, bow, you're going to need your packet if you have it, or you might want your book. And then we're going to get started. I'll see you in a minute. All right, now that you have your instrument and your bow and everything that you need, I want to talk to you about bow distribution. That's a super big word, and it is really kind of just basically saying, where in the bow do you want to be playing in? Because if we play too far, look at, here's my little awesome diagram. Ooh, there, if we play too far at the frog, then we're going to get kind of a weird, crunchy sound if we play too hard. And if we play way at the tip over here, we're gonna get a really light sound. So there's all these different ways that you can play in all these different places. We have the lower half and the upper half. We have the lower third, middle third, upper third, that one right here. And then at the very top, then it divides it into four pieces. And that is, um, I still kind of want to use the words frog, middle, and tip for that for you, okay? So this is basic bow distribution. Now, um, if we are playing only at the frog, like this, right here, we can get a pretty crunchy sound sometimes. If we're playing way at the tip, we can get a really light sound. So the best part of the bow for you to be playing is right there at the balancing point. It, for the violins and the violas, it makes our elbow a little square like that. And for cello, if we're playing that, it's just right right there in the, in the middle of the balancing point. So that is where we wanna be playing. And you can figure out the balancing point on your own. And we're gonna take some time to do that right now. So you can put your a bow, to back up a little bit, and it's, I'm resting it flat, the horse hair is pointing towards me and both my fingers, one at the tip and one at the frog, and just slowly kind of work your way with both your fingers inwards, and that is your balancing point. That is where you want to set your bow on the string when you're ready to play. So I'm going to go back, um, and I'm using both fingers, and I'm just slowly sneaking in, kind of very slow, both my fingers, where the bow kind of gets a little tippy, that is your balancing point. And that's where you want to play when we set our bow on the string. That's where we want to start. So if I'm going to start my bow on the balancing point, here's my balancing point, I found it, without touching the horse hairs, right there, the balancing point right there. Or for cello, the balancing point right there. That's really important, okay? And then we're just gonna go about four inches. We're not gonna get all the way to the tip. You can try that on the A string. Just stay. Oh my gosh, 
Um, <laughs> that's my dog. He's howling at me. So not you. He's not howling at you. He's howling at me. Why don't you go ahead and try playing back and forth. This is called the middle of the bow. That's where we're going to be playing most of the time for this lesson. Okay, now that we've talked about that magic point of the bow, the balancing point, we're going to start learning our first variation of the bow rhythms for Twinkle, and that is going to be Mississippi Stop Stop. So if you can say after me, Mississippi Stop Stop. Yeah, that's it. And we're using stop stop because that's a short sound. Um, your teachers might use pepperoni pizza. Either one's fine. I use Mississippi stop stop. And on the D string, let's say, go ahead and put your bow up on the string. My turn first. And we're just going to write up that balancing point. I set my bow on the string. That's called the contact point. Okay. So that's where we're going to put our bow on the string. Nice bow hold. And it's Mississippi stop stop. Nice and straight. My turn. <laughs> Just like that, I do it a nice detache bow stroke, which means on the string, back and forth. Let's try it, and Mississippi, go. Good, let's switch to the A string. I've dropped my elbow for the violin and viola. One. Two, and here we go. Yeah, I'm getting that stop, stop sound. So for our twinkle, which you might have in book, uh, let's see, I think it's book fifth, page 15 of the Essential Elements book. So if we have D, 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 A, 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 B, 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 A, 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 A. That's how that's gonna go, all right? And then we go on to the next one. So we're gonna try Mississippi Stop Stop with that in front of you and the notes, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of stop at the end of each phrase. We have three sections. We have the first section, and then we have the middle section, and then we have the end. And you'll know, you'll know what those are when we do it. I'll kind of give you some verbal, verbal cues. So right now you're gonna put your instrument up, starting on open D, and follow along with those on the screen. Mississippi stop, stop. One and two and open D. A. B. A. G, F sharp, E, D. Now the next part starts on opening. We dropped our elbow, thinking about those short bows. One, two, on A, here we go. And G, F sharp, E, to A, to G, F sharp, E. Now the next part, the third part, it's the same as the beginning, so it should be okay. Starting on open D, one and two, and short tight bows. A, first finger B, a, G, F sharp, and E, and D. You did it. That was awesome. So that's our Mississippi stop stop. It's not going to be perfect the first time you do it. That's the key. Practice is the key. Okay, not giving up and making sure you always are doing it over and over again. So that's your first variation of Twinkle. Okay, now that you've got that one down a little bit, like I said, it's gonna take some practice. I want you to look at, this is rhythm number four, number two. It's the second box down, number two. And that rhythm 
It looks super scary. So you are so awesome for doing this. It's gonna be really easy if we just follow these simple rules, okay? It's called down, puppy, up, puppy. And it just goes down bow, puppy, up bow, puppy. So put your bow up in the air. We're not gonna do it on the string yet. We're gonna go down bow for down bow and up bow for up bow. And then puppy are these little bows. So watch me and I'm gonna kind of back up. And it's gonna be down, puppy, up, puppy. Here we go, one, two, in the air and go. Down, puppy, up, puppy, down, puppy, up, puppy, down, puppy, up, puppy. Let's try it on D. Here we go, checking that pinky, the bow hold that it's nice and loose and it's curved violins and violas. Here we go on open D, down, puppy, up and go. Now, the coolest part is that you're starting at the balancing point, that magic spot that we've talked about. And then we're gonna go all the way here, use all the way to the middle, upper part of the middle, and then we're gonna do our puppies there. We're gonna go all the way back and our puppies here. So it's down, puppy, up. Puppy down, puppy up, puppy, just like that, okay? So let's try it just with the first part of Twinkle. So it's D, then A, then B, then A. Here we go, one, two, on D, down, puppy. One, two, on the string, down, puppy, up, puppy. Now all three for G, down, puppy, ready, go. this up on the screen for you. I'm gonna give you some time to practice your down puppy, up puppy, all of Twinkle if you can. But if you can only practice that first part now, that's just fine. Right, nice job with that. That's a tricky one, that down, puppy, up, puppy. That's hard. So if you didn't get it right away, no problem. Just keep practicing it this week. And then over the next couple weeks, it's not gonna be something that comes overnight to you. It's gonna be something that requires a lot of practice. So go ahead and start doing that at home daily or um, when you can fit in your practice, all right? The next rhythm that we're gonna talk about is called Little Tiny Motor Cycle. It's a very short, very staccato sound. Um, and staccato just means um, short. Actually, I have a joke to tell you. Are you ready to hear it? Um, it's about staccato. Actually, it's too short, I can't tell you. Get it? All right, so we have number three down there at the bottom, right where my finger is, and that is going to be little tiny motor cycle. We're gonna start right Actually, uh, just a little bit above the balancing point. Remember our balancing point is here, that magic spot. We're just gonna kind of do a down bow for an inch or two. Now we're in the middle, right there. And we're just gonna go back and forth on little tiny motor cycle using about one inch of bow. Ready, go. <laughs> what's happening, but I believe that this is what's happening. And that 
is 100% way too much bow. So please shorten up your string, shorten up your bow, just very clean, short sounds, like one inch. That's your challenge, one inch of bow. One, two, and little tiny. That's your job, is to go back and forth between A and D on little tiny motorcycle. And then, if you're feeling brave, you can add it to your twinkle variation, just like we've been doing the same song, just adding in that little tiny motorcycle rhythm. All right, you did it. That was probably a bit of a challenge for us and that's always good. But remember that if you're practicing this, you could always just start on the open strings, just getting that rhythm and focusing on where in the bow you're playing, that you're really using that small amount of bow and that you're really paying attention to, are you starting at the balancing point and staying in that, that area that you're supposed to be for each of the variations for um, Mississippi stop stop for down puppy up puppy and for little tiny motorcycles if you can get further and start adding it to your song then that's what you can be doing all right I hope that you had fun today and I really um, I really do miss having my students in my class and I know that you miss being there so I hope that you're practicing and don't forget to give a shout out to your EIM teachers on Schoology all right see you next time